It's very hot out here in Pahrump, Nevada. So, <clears throat> I'll do another little walk around and then we'll go over the mechanical to let everybody know exactly what has been done to the truck. Like I said, almost everything had been replaced in it. It's got the original radiator. Did not get too far close, so you can see how it looks. Now the tires are new on it, but my plan was to go with the big white walls. However, to roll it around in a garage and take it on test drives and everything, I just put regular tires on it. It is the original rims. It's got, can't remember if it's a five clip that holds on the, um, holds on the hubcap or a three clip. It's got dual exhaust with two MagnaFlow, with two MagnaFlow, um, mufflers on it connected straight up to the headers um, let's see go to walking around the tractor here yeah this is the one that sags a little bit this one may just need the door pins put in it And this top trim here is just a little loose. There's no screws that hold it in except for here and here. So I'm sure the little retaining clip just needs to be adjusted up on it. Uh, I got the original horn button. This is original steering wheel. I did add this. This is a vacuum switch. For the windshield wiper reservoir and this has been chromed out there's your dimmer switch that right there is how you start the truck this has a five speed transmission in it from an 86 84 to 86 s10 uh, it's got a new clutch pressure plate and bell housing but I took the original shifter stick and had it welded on to the s10 shifter stick so at least look somewhat original there's the serial number you gotta excuse me I'm in the Sun so I can't see I'm getting reflection from the Sun so I can't see if you can see that or not in the original door plate there is with this serial number two places on the frame that it is stamped so I can't I can approximately show you where on the frame it would be somewhere there and there would be another spot back here somewhere with that serial so that has been verified you just can't get to it with the phone uh, what else can I tell you about alright the rear end is the original it's a 355 rear end and all the the fluid has been changed on it it's been painted it's been it's had all new braking hardware put on it. I do have a drip from the front uh, drive sa shaft seal that I haven't addressed because I didn't realize it was leaking until after I started driving it a little bit. The drive shaft has been cut and balanced. And uh, from a place called Dan's Drive Line in Vegas, the leaf springs. All the way around it they are original but all the bushings the um, 
pins, shackles, and all that have been replaced. New brake hoses. And all new lights except for the headlights. The headlights are the original because they're the glass, glass type. And I guess we'll go into the mechanical. Let's go over the mechanical. There's the vacuum bottle, which goes for the um, windshield wipers. So there's a vacuum switch in there. The braking system, the master cylinder is on the floor on this truck. It has a new master cylinder. I added a power brake booster to it. which is a little hard to see the uh, it has a proportioning valve and you have the check valves on it I have two check valves I think they're 10 pounds on the front and a 10 pound in the rear and the reason why the rear has one is because it splits off but the, the front two for the individual uh, front braking system, you know, I have them on each wheel. Okay, this is the original radiator. It's been cleaned in service, checked out to be okay. I added the Fenton intake, Fenton intake, and Fenton headers, which allowed me to have the dual pipes to run. All the way back to have true dual exhaust on this. The intake and headers were purchased brand new out of Patrick's out of Arizona. And they were powder coated with a high temp. It's called a ceramic chrome. Chrome. I have water intake coming off of the water pump and thermostat housing so that we could heat the manifold to prevent it from frosting especially in cooler temperatures the carburetors are brand new they were purchased from Langdon's Stobold Engine Company um, they're brand new they are one barrel each and I believe the application was a 94 CID Ford Escort or something of that. I can't re really remember. But he sells them for that because we didn't want to over carburate the 235 motor. And these are, I guess they're a progressive. And I'm not really sure on how the progressiveness works on them or not but they're tuned it runs very well and uh, within with that I ran new fuel line back to the tank I installed two fuel filters here a brand new well everything's brand new um, I have a brand new fuel pump down here with a filter on top of it um, you have the draft tube. This doesn't have a PVC tube. This has a 65,000 high energy ignition. I didn't want the points. I wanted something that you could, that was pretty simple. It does have vacuum advance on it. Now on the motor, I had the valve cover and a lot of the chrome pieces chromed on it. Let's see what else can I tell you it's got new spark plugs it's got the I think they're eight millimeter but they're upgraded um, upgraded spark plug wire for the high energy ignition I got new cables I put ground cables all over the place so that we make sure we didn't lose the ground and this back here is for the lighting relay system so that my main power doesn't go into the firewall into into the switch the switch controls the lighting circuit out here where it brings the power out to here so I have a lot brighter high headlights than going in off of the switch 
and that's a grounding point there and I have some hot, uh, the hot feeds coming in uh, let's see what else okay this bl the block is original the fan is original and the uh, damper pulley <clears throat> is original the timing gears have all been replaced there are two One's a steel gear, one's an aluminum gear, I believe. They've been put in place. Brand new pistons. Pistons were gotten from an old boy up in, uh, where was it? Menden, Nevada. He carries a whole bunch of the uh, original equipment for these. And the pistons on this, we had one cylinder that needed to be honed or uh, uh, bored out to you know under 30 so I got over 30 pistons and they're called Pedrick rings so it's the old school stuff put into it the head the head and the block were reconditioned they were hot tanked and they were also um, magna flux to make sure there's no cracks or anything in them the rocker arm shaft and the rocker arms were reconditioned but all new springs valves uh, seats and we installed hardened seats in there so you could run unleaded fuel without any problem um, so the head is completely rebuilt the motors been completely rebuilt I got a new water pump new hoses um, let's see what else can I Tell you, try not to bounce the phone around. Uh, new rings, new pistons, the um, push rods are new. The um, connecting rods were reconditioned. The crankshaft was polished, reconditioned, and polished. And they shaved uh, ten thousands off of it, so I got ten thousands plus bearings on it. New oil pump from Napa and let's see what else uh, this here is off of a let me see if you can see my finger yeah up here okay I did switch this off this is off of a 261 uh, thermostat housing and the only reason why I wanted that was so I could have the extra port here so I could run an external gauge for my temperature and on the back of it 56 they had an electric gauge so I have an electric gauge hooked up and an external one here I got a vacuum gauge hooked up to it and I think an amp gauge on it also and an oil pressure gauge too I wanted the original the only thing that wasn't hooked up on the, in the original dash was the amp draw because it was current and I'm running a different alternator I think it's a 10 SI so instead of having a generator I have an alternator there a one wire alternator and the other thing was I relocated this this is the oil bypass filter which is not complete like an oil filter which it filters all of it it only filters probably 20 30 percent of it now this was originally mounted on the other intake, but since I changed intakes, I had to build this bird perch to mount it on there. So other than that, that's all I can tell you about the motor other than it's got brand new brakes. Uh, transmission is a five speed so that when you're going down the road, I think 65, 70 mile an hour, you're running about 22, 2300 RPM, maybe a little less in fifth gear. So this way it keeps the RPMs down. This is not a high RPM motor. You got four mains, you got four mains. So you don't, you know, it's got a lot of torque, but you do not want to over RPM it because they just wasn't built for speed. This was built to be a farm truck. So so that's all that's been done through it. I've set through the whole thing. It's just the little miscellaneous things. Um, 
that I have not been able to finish up. Um, it's hard for me to get uh, get down to it. I have a weight issue and I also have a mobility problem, which doesn't allow me to do the things that I used to. And as far as me trying to drive it, I have this here with the standard the braking, the push starter, and, uh, you know, the high beam, low beam switch. There's too many things going down below for me to worry about trying to to clutch and brake and everything else. I can do it. I drive it. I've driven it probably four or five times to a restaurant, picked up a couple friends on it. We've done a little cruise around town, got some gas, but that's all it's been driven. Hasn't been taken on any long trips or anything like that. It runs fine. It sounds great. Everything's new in it. Just uh, needs a little bit of minor touches to it. And to get back to the seat, seat issue, the reason why I didn't put the bolt in the seat also is because I know that I was going to have the sheet saved down because it's way too thick on the backing plate and the seat cushion. So I was going to have it um, put, um, you know, when they shaved it down or, or, or took out some of the foam in it, uh, have them um, put the bolt into it. But I just kept it. I just didn't want to get it lost. And the I got uh, hood bumpers that go here and here and here, which I haven't installed yet. And they're in that pack. So that's everything I know about the truck. Everything's mostly been replaced. I got a whole stack of receipts to verify everything. A lot of it's been chrome. The, the, the frame had been taken all the way down to uh, sandblasted and then powder coated so that's the truck if you got any questions i'll tell you everything i know about it and uh what i want to do is sort of a walk around and show it i got a i don't have plates on it now and i ran it very low on gas so that I wouldn't have gas sitting in the tank or i would uh fire it up because I was trying to keep it so the gas wasn't setting and gumming up but it starts it runs fine it drives um, it's not like a modern car because you have a straight axle powder coated all the kingpins have been replaced the front uh, bearings have been replaced and the you know the wheel bearings everything um, so kingpins and uh, the the um, I did change the uh, tie rod ends to the new modern type since the old ones were so hard to get. But like I said, everything was pretty much new and uh, new and uh, and replaced on it. So it was either reconditioned, which is very few parts reconditioned because I mostly bought new or replaced new. Okay, any questions, feel free to give me a call.